Hello, so welcome back. Here's another live stream for you guys. I know a lot of people missed the last one because of the timing. It was on Sunday night in the US, which is Monday morning in Vietnam. So I kind of moved it, shifted a little bit so that now hopefully more people can join us on this stream today. So if you're here, then welcome. I'm just gonna wait a few minutes for people to join. And then I think we'll do kind of similar to what I did on the last one where we can chit chat about a few things and you guys can ask questions. And so it'll be like a Q and A slash how was your week? If you guys are into that. So I see some people already here. Hello to JC, RX Vlog, Sarah, Lammy is back. Hi, hope your first day or your first week of school went well. And hello to Fat Lan, Tim, Bao, Jay, hello. Angelina is here, hi. Wow, you guys are so quick. <laughs> so I hope you guys had a good week. Happy Friday or Saturday if you're on that side of the world. Hello from Worcester, Massachusetts. Oh, cool, hello. We actually went there once. Maybe you, maybe you already know that. <laughs> oh, we went near there, I think. Hi, Dow, hello. Yes, happy Labor Day weekend. I'm so happy it's a three-day weekend. I had a very busy week with the international student orientation. I mentioned it on the last stream. So we welcomed 1,500 new students to my school this week. And it was a lot of fun, but a lot of work. So now I'm just tired and ready to enjoy my weekend. So I'll kick it off with a little conversation with you guys. I do have a special guest laying next to me. Baby P is sleeping, but he'll make an appearance. I'll wake him up. Actually, he's not sleeping. He's just laying there, but I'll leave him alone for a minute while you guys join the stream. And then later, I will let you guys say hi to Peanut. Yes. Hi, Jelena. How are you? <clears throat> hi from Texas. <coughs> Hello. When are you coming back to Vietnam? I'm not sure yet. Maybe next year. But of course, I'll keep you guys posted. But there's no plan just yet. I just got a job, so I have to work for a while before I take a big vacation. And yeah, the, like I said, the new job is incredible. I am so happy that I got it and I didn't go with any other job because I remember I told you guys I had an offer for the other place first. I'm so glad I declined it because every day I go to work and I just love it so much. The work is great, the people are great. And yeah, it's, it's really my dream job, so. I filmed some of this week. It's going to be in the next vlog. I'm just going to have like a little montage and then I'll tell you guys more about my job in that video because <coughs> I don't want to bore you guys with it right now. So be on the lookout on Sunday. I'll be posting like just the video about the international orientation week and my experience with that, which was so much fun. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yes. I am from Melbourne. Nice. What time is it in Australia, by the way? Because I'm not sure. I know Vietnam is 7 a.m., but I don't know what time it is in Australia. So let me know if this is a good time for you to watch live streams or not. I, I have a hard time finding a perfect time for everybody to be on it, but I'm trying to just experiment with different times and days and see what's the best one. <clears throat> Oh, you changed your schedule. Okay, well, at least you have some friends in your classes. That's good. Was it as scary as you expected on the first day? Or was it okay? Because I, I hope it was okay. How do you do? I am doing well, Mickey. Thanks for asking. Hello to Hung. Hi, Audrey from Tuan. Hello. 10.04, 10.04. Is it 10.04 a.m.? Obviously, right? So that's not too bad. Okay, hopefully Kathy will come. So Kathy is also in Australia. She has been following the channel for a long time. So I hope she'll make an appearance. I know she usually watches the videos at this time. So we'll see. Do you drink Vietnamese coffee? My friend got drunk from it. Uh, I think I got drunk from it too. <laughs> so it's like really a lot of caffeine. So I like it, but I get sick every time. Like I'll just start shaking and feeling like I want to throw up and I'm dizzy. So I like it, but I just, I can only like drink it 
a little bit and I have to eat first. <laughs> kind of like drinking, I guess. Why don't you speak Vietnamese? Well, you can ask, if you guys ask questions in Vietnamese, I can try to answer them. I don't like when I just like, I'm put on the spot to talk. So just ask questions in Vietnamese and then I will try to answer. Where's your hubby? He is reading right now. So he's just over there, not on the screen, but he's hanging out in his hammock, reading a physics book. <laughs> what an exciting Friday night here in this house. <laughs> How's your book? Very interesting. Thank you very much. He's enjoying it. And then I get peen, Peeny Weenie here. Peeny Weenie, do you want to say hi to the peeps? Hi. Do you guys want to see Peanut? He's here. That's why I decided to stream here so you guys can say hi to him. Hey, Peen Ween. Hi. Oh my God. See his smile? He loves you guys. Do you love them? Are they your friends? <laughs> He's so happy. He's happy we're home. I think, yeah, the weekend he's always happy because then we can hang out with him for a while. So that's good. What time is it? Um, it's 8 p.m. here. Uh, have a nice weekend. Thank you, Mary. You too. Well, not really. Someone stole my bike in school. Oh, no. You have a lot of bad luck. I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> You're in, are you in Philadelphia? Jeez, what a rough place. When did you guys plan to have kids? In a few years. That's our kid right there, Peanut. <laughs> He's our kid for now. Hôm nay, không đi làm hả mình anh? Hôm nay mình đi làm rồi. Bây giờ là thấm giờ. Thumbs up, soy, thumbs up, cheat. Uh, how do I say that? How do I say it's eight o'clock at night? Thumbs up, toy. Ah, thumbs up, toy. Yeah, I went to work already. I want to tell my counselor about it, but I know they can't help me. Well, you never know. Maybe the school has cameras. How old is Peanut? He is six years old or six years young. He acts like he's a baby though. So he's very cute. Hi, Peeny Weenie. Yeah, he's so cute. Hee <laughs> hee. Beanie Peanut. <laughs> what did he study your hubby? He studied um, finance. So he has his master's and I have my master's now. So we both are done studying. <laughs> we don't want to get PhD. Shout out from Brooklyn. Hey, Jason, you're not that far away from us. You're basically our neighbor. And San Diego. Hello, Seiko Watch. You were here last time, weren't you? Or did you just recently comment on something? I remember seeing you. Jay says, Ming Ang Noi, Ting Viet Zoi Wa, Hi Hi, Kem Wen Zat Nyu. No, I'm not. I'm in Lancaster now. Okay. So maybe that's not a very nice place. Xin chào to everybody in Vietnam. <laughs> Hi, Audrey from Golden State. What is the Golden State? You should tell me because I don't know what that is. <laughs> Hi from Lillian. Hi, Lillian. And Huyng. Hi. Anyway, how was your week? Yeah, it was, it was really long. <laughs> so Monday I worked from I, I, well, it wasn't working, but like also driving takes a long time. So I left the house at like 6.45 and I go home at 8 p.m. So that Monday was so long that when I woke up in the next morning on Tuesday, I thought it was Wednesday. So yeah, I think, I think as of yesterday, I already had worked 40 hours and then I worked today as well. So it was a very long week, but so much fun. I can't wait to put the video together. I filmed everything on my phone this week, so I don't know how the quality is gonna be, but hopefully it's cute. It's just easier because I was working and I didn't want to bring my camera around and look like a crazy person. Even though people were taking pictures, so probably no one would have cared, but I just wanted to use my phone. My master's is in global affairs. So it's kind of like international relations. 
Oh, thank you. Would you ever touch a moving fish in Vietnam? What does that mean? Uh, maybe. Oh, California is the golden state? Okay, well, I learn something new every day. I know the sunshine state is Florida. And I'm in the garden state. How fun is that? We have a lot of beautiful plants in New Jersey. Love your videos from the UK. Thank you, V. Who earned a master's degree? Great job. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was so school is not my favorite thing, so I'm glad we're just done. I don't think we like studying either, so yeah. <laughs> we're done. What does that mean? Like independence holiday? Yeah. Okay, well, that's cool. We have the holiday here too. So we have um, Labor Day weekend. So we have three day weekend this weekend. I have been waiting for this since I started working. As soon as I got to work, I was like, okay, September 3rd, holiday. Can't wait. How long it takes you to edit a vlog? Usually it takes me between one to two hours, depending on like, for that's for like a, just a basic vlog. It takes between one to two hours because I have to edit and then do the thumbnail and all the information on YouTube scheduling the upload. And then for any like sit down videos that have a lot of different edits, then it could take longer. My video that took the longest is 50 Facts About Me. So if you haven't seen it, you should go give it a view because it took me 10 hours to create that video because there were so many overlays and the editing was just, it took forever. So I don't normally make those kind of videos. Vlogs typically don't take as long because it's kind of supposed to be raw. So that's the way I like to share my story is more in a raw way. I know some people like to do the cinematic stuff, which maybe someday I'll learn how to do it, like to be more advanced. But for now, I just like to keep it simple. You get to get a little glimpse into my day and that's just how I do it. And I have like no time to be making like a Hollywood motion picture from my vlog, so. I try my best to make it as interesting as possible and I enjoy it. What's for dinner tonight? We had leftovers that I took home from work. So we had a party at like lunchtime at work and there was so much pasta and chicken and salad left over that they were telling all of us to just take it home. So I brought it home and we had leftovers from the party for, for dinner. Now I'm really full because there was a lot of pasta. But yeah, I was thinking of doing a like eat with me live sometime. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know where I could have like s something that I'm eating and you guys could also bring something you want to eat and we could just have like a meal together. So if you're interested, maybe just like comment somewhere on one of my videos that you want to do that and I will try to set something up. But I want to make sure you guys want to do it before I do it because I feel like it might be weird if no one wants to eat with me. Um, Ting, you're asking when's the next time you're going back to Vietnam. I told somebody already, but I don't know exactly when. Maybe next year, next summer, or maybe not. I don't know. Because I just started working. So it's, we have to, I have to work before I can take a vacation. Have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. How do you like your new place so far? I love it. The only downside is I work so far away. So I have to drive really far every day. It's like almost an hour in the morning and usually an hour in the nighttime, like in the evening because of traffic. So it's really far away. I wish that like we could just lift it up and move it there, but we're already looking at new places to live. So we might move again in this next summer. So we'll see. It's going to be crazy. Same, I don't like school, but I have to deal with it. Yeah, you you have a long way to go. Can you eat? What is that? Something duck? What is that, Ayn? Yeah. 
Be oh, heck no. I cannot eat that. I don't want to eat that. I never tried it and I never will. Yeah, it sounds terrible. Have a nice weekend from Albert. Thank you. You too. Has Hui been driving since passing his permit test on your last video? Yes, he did have his first lesson, which I think he's going to be a really good driver. I, I mean, I do. I think so. He doesn't seem nervous like I was. <laughs> I'm still nervous and I drive every day. I had a, such a stressful drive this morning. I don't even want to remember it because it was so bad. Let's, let's just not even go there. But anyways, how many years have you vlogged? Just one year. This is I'm, this is starting my second year of vlogging. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. You need to get a P.O. box, lol. Maybe later. But that sounds fun. It just costs money to open it, so probably not for a while. Labor Day, Lang Ai, Lei Lao, Dong, Tu Hai Nai. Okay. Are you translating it for me? Hello, Audrey from Vietnam. Hi! Thank you for joining the stream. It's so nice to hang out with you guys, by the way. The last the last stream I did on Sunday, I had so much fun. And I was just so happy to see the fact that you guys enjoyed coming to watch the stream. And then also you chatted with each other in the chat. It was so cute. So I'm just happy that our community is growing and growing stronger. So I'm just glad that you guys are here. I went to Vietnam with my dad for the first time in 2015 and I enjoyed it. Yes, it's it's very nice there. I miss the food so much. Every day I'm thinking about pho in Vietnam though, not here. Your vlogs are wonderful, thank you. Now I go to work, see you later. Bye Jay, thanks for joining. Do you like eating wonton soup? I ate it for dinner. I, I think it's okay. It's not my favorite, I, yeah. I don't know, I prefer to just eat dumplings <laughs> than wonton soup. Hello to Ming. Did you make it to work on time this morning or did Peanut make you leave for work? <laughs> did you see my Instagram story? Yeah, I I actually was late not because of Peanut, because of traffic. So today was the move-in day at the college. So when I was like supposed to only take two minutes to get to work, it took me 15 minutes from like, I mean, the whole the whole ride took, God, I don't even know, an hour. Oh, my God, it took me more than an hour this morning. Yeah, so far. So, Peanut didn't make me late, but all those parents driving their kids to college made me late <laughs> and moving their junk. I like both your English versus Vietnamese name. Thank you. Yeah, balut. I'm not eating balut. That sounds horrible. <laughs> if you like balut then I'm sorry if I'm offending you, but I don't want to eat that. Show your new bag. Oh my God, yes, my bag. Hold on, I'll get it for, just wait a second. You can you can see Peanut while I go get it. Hey, look, those are the people. Say hi, say hi to the people. They're over there. He's looking over here. Peeny weeny. Peeny weeny. All right, I'm back. I keep my bag like up on a pedestal because I don't want Peanut to like accidentally, or not even accidentally, but for him to just take it down and then bite it. So yeah, because he's been naughty. He's been chewing more stuff. So we're probably gonna have to put him back in his cage, but this is my new bag. I'm so excited. So it's small enough that it's not gonna be too heavy, but it fits everything that I need. Like my trusty, this is my makeup bag. So I guess we'll just do a what's in my bag real quick. Normally my phone would be in here too. Then I have, this is just like my makeup in here. I keep it in here. Like I don't have much stuff, but I was so afraid if like the lipstick if the cap came off, I didn't want it to make a mess in my new bag. So I put it in the bag. Then I have my sunglasses, which should be in a case, but the case is in the car. And my trusty vlog camera. This is my favorite camera. If you ever want to invest in a vlog camera, I highly recommend this one. Canon G7X Mark II. 
Then I have, <laughs> I have my headphones, but I, <clears throat> I made this thing out of cardboard so they wouldn't tangle up. I know you can buy these, but I'm too cheap. So I literally just cut this off and made this. And then I have my wallet, which is, a, this was a gift from Manasa. She gave it to me last year when she went back to India. And then that's it. And oh, and my keys, my keys are hanging, but they would usually be in here too. So you see, it's not too big, fits everything I need. And it's, yeah, it's just cute. I'm excited. So that is that. Hope you enjoyed this short, what's in my bag. I know a lot of people make that as a whole video, but I don't think it's that interesting for a video. Okay, so let me see. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back and see some of your comments real quick. I know you guys are asking more questions. Did you fight sometimes as a couple? Of course, who doesn't fight? I'm not gonna say we never fight, but not too often. He said Labor Day is on Monday. Yeah, that's what I thought he said. <laughs> Hello, very nice, thank you. Hello, Mingyang from Dubai. Hi. You must be dying of heat there. <laughs> what does Hui normally cook for dinners? Everybody thinks that he's going to cook Vietnamese food, but he always likes to cook Italian food. We joke that he's the quarter Italian, so we eat a lot of pasta or, like, chicken. I mean, sometimes we eat rice and noodles and stuff, but it's not, like, a one cuisine. I feel like... In America, nobody eats one cuisine, like, because country is just so melted together. So any day we could eat something different. Like sometimes we eat Mexican food, sometimes we eat Italian food, sometimes we eat American food, like burgers or something. And then like Vietnamese food, Chinese food, Korean food, Japanese, like whatever. So there's not really a normal dinner. It's just whatever we feel like. And sometimes we're just so lazy. We just order or like go out to eat. <coughs> Hi, Audrey. What do Western girls think about Vietnamese boys? I don't know. I never asked them. Sorry, I cannot really answer that question. Have you ever went to Sydney? It's really nice here and everyone is friendly. I would love to go to Australia. I haven't been yet. It's so far away from here. I feel like I feel like you can't really get much further away than Australia from here. So maybe someday we can visit. I would love to visit Australia and South Korea and Japan are like some of my top three that I would like to visit. And then of course, going back to Vietnam. Hi, from San Jose, California. How old are you? I'm almost 26. So my birthday is coming up next month. Actually, next month is, is in three. Wait, next month is tomorrow. <laughs> My birthday is in 19 days, you guys. I mean, not that it's that exciting, but that's, yeah, another year older. Do you have time making Vietnamese food or we got used to eating American food, LOL? I mean, sometimes we make stuff. I make pho sometimes, not often, but sometimes. I wanna try to make ban quân soon. So I was supposed to make it a while back and then we just never did. I'm pretty sure we bought the rice flour that we need for it. So <coughs> you'll see that in a video soon. I'm going to make a video of me making that. It might be a fail like the bang sale, but we'll see. Have you gone to amusement park in Vietnam? Nope. I actually don't go to even many in America. You guys saw in the 4th of July, we went to like a small one. And it was so much fun because I never get to go. So I felt like a little kid again. Wow, that's a clever way to keep your earphone from messing up. Yes, because I can't stand every time I pull it out and it's just a knot. It's like uh, even when I try to curve it like this around and then carefully put it in, it just becomes a big knot. So I, I actually saw the thing you can buy on. It was like suggested to me on Google or something. And I was just like, no, nah, I don't feel like buying that. I'll just make my own. So then I just cut the box. So if you have a cardboard box, all you do is cut it and then just wrap your thing around it. I cut like a little, I think you can see it here. I'll show you one more time what I did in case you wanna DIY your own. It's not that exciting, but I like cut it so that it has a spot here and a spot here so that it can hold the 
the cord so it doesn't fly out. So it's working pretty good. And yeah, I feel like I always break my headphones. So I'm trying not to break these ones because they're the only pair I have for my phone because it has the lightning, whatever the heck. The neighbor's dogs are barking. I don't think you can hear it, but they are crazy. The next door neighbors. Hi, Audrey from Australia, cute bag. Thank you, Vicky. How are you today? That's cute emojis. You guys have a lot of cute emojis in here. I didn't even know those were in here. Hi from Houston, Texas, hello. What is your most favorite class and your least favorite class back in high school? My favorite classes in high school were French and anatomy and physiology. Yeah, those are my two favorites. And I liked painting, even though I wasn't like that good at it, but it was still fun. And my least favorite was always math. I took uh, algebra one, algebra two, and algebra three, and geometry, and I almost failed every single time. So math was always my least favorite. I didn't really like chemistry either. English, I actually, I really loved English too. So you can see I don't like numbers, but I like language stuff. So, but anatomy was fun. Luckily, there's no math. It's just memorization. I like things that you have to memorize something. So those were the classes that I loved. <clears throat> now many young people eat fusion food. Yeah, there's a lot of that here in the US. There's actually a taco like a korean taco so it's like korean mexican fusion place right near our house which i like the mexican stuff there but any of the fusion stuff is kind of weird so sometimes it's hit or miss with those kind of things what foods do you like i like a lot of food if you haven't noticed in like pretty much every vlog i'm eating something at some point so I love pasta, ice cream, that's a food group for me. Pho, um, I like chicken, <laughs> it's like a simple thing. I like chicken, beef, steak, um, fruit, I like fruit. I don't really care for vegetables that much, which is kind of bad. And then, I, I don't know if you guys already know, but I hate eggs, seafood, and milk and tofu and beans. <laughs> so that kind of takes out a lot of food, especially in Vietnam. I know there's a lot of seafood and yeah, it's it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. So many comments, I'm trying to answer everybody. So sorry if I take a little while to get to your question or your comment, I am just going down the line. Where did you bought the bag? It's so cute. I bought it online. So I don't know if you're in America or not, Mary, but it's called Century 21. It's a store and they get like the like last season stuff of different brand name things. And then they just sell it on a discount. So it was on sale, still expensive as heck, but you should check out if you want to like get good brand stuff, I would check out Century 21 and Nordstrom Rack. Those two, um, I got my sunglasses. So these sunglasses right here, I got these ones. You've seen me wear them a million times. These were $35, originally 100 So I like to find a good deal. <laughs> so those are the places that I look for, like, nice stuff for not too expensive or less expensive. We just went to Magic Mountain Six Flags. It's so fun. Yeah, I like it. I want to go to a water park. And our friends want to go too, but we just haven't gone yet. And hopefully we'll go skiing this winter. We were supposed to go skiing with them last winter, but get ready because there's going to be a skiing vlog in like five months. So get ready. Do you feel any pressure to make vlog for your fans? I mean, I don't really feel pressure from my fans. It's more like myself because I personally am passionate about this and love to make the videos. So... I'm never really consistent with anything ever. Like when I say I'm going to floss, I'll floss for like three days and then I give up. Or going to the gym, I'm never consistent with that. So I feel like this is the one thing in my life that I've actually been good at 
keeping consistent. So I just don't want to let myself down. Like if I just, I know that sometime I'll need a break. So there will be times when I just can't upload like today. I didn't have time to edit the whole week because I was so busy, but I decided to live stream. So that way I can still put something out there, put out some content and just enjoy the interaction with you guys. And it will make me happy. So ultimately I do this channel to make me happy and you guys are just the bonus of that. So it's not really pressure from fans. It's just me following what I want to do. So that is, that is what I do every week. Some people think I'm crazy, but <laughs> I love doing it. So I don't feel like tired from it or anything. Have you ever thought that you would both live in Vietnam and get a job? I mean, we considered it, but not like seriously. We thought about it and this is just where we have our life already. I'm pretty sure somebody asked that on the last stream and I kind of said the same thing where we, we've we already kind of started everything here. So this is just makes sense to stay here in the US, but we always go back to visit because Vietnam is our part of us, is our home as well. Chào em xin đẹp dễ. Dễ thương. Hello, Twin Nguyen. Hi. And Samith says, wow, you look so much younger than your age. Last week, somebody in my office said that I looked like I was 17. <laughs> and I felt so embarrassed because I don't want to look like a kid because I am an adult. But yes, I, I get that a lot. I came here to learn English. Speaking, I'm Argentinian. Thank you. Well, um, hola, <laughs> hola to to Nico. Hola. I don't really speak Spanish. I just wanted to say hi. I hope you can understand me. I'm trying to speak clearly for everybody. If I'm excited, I might talk a little fast. So I'm sorry if you can't understand. But for the most part, I'm trying like in these live streams to speak slowly and clearly so that way everybody can have a chance to understand because I know a lot of you want to learn English. So uh, yeah, I love your peanut. I love him too. He's over there now. He, he ran away, but he's so cute. Maybe he'll come back and say hi in a little while. If you guys stay tuned, you can see him again. I like your smile. Thank you. I hate geometry and gym the most. Oh my God, I forgot about gym. I, I don't know, like I kind of liked it because it was fun, it was like recess. And I took my favorite class actually in gym was called racket sports, where we got to play badminton, ping pong, pickleball, which probably a lot of you don't even know what pickleball is. It's a very random sport and then tennis, which I'm not good at tennis, but I love badminton the most and pickleball second. It's pretty fun. Russia here, hi, привет. Good luck to making bankun. Thank you. Yeah, it looks hard, but I think, I think I would just use Helen's recipes. <laughs> She's usually the one teaching me how to make all the Vietnamese food. Audrey Kate Hopting Viet Community College. Uh, không có uh, khu này không có nhiều lớp Việt Nam tiếng Việt ở đây nhưng mà ở Bang Cali có Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? <laughs> to Tom Nhi Ho You have a long name I love steak. Steak is the best I love it so much How was your week? My week was busy and fun. So you're gonna see in the next vlog, I filmed all these little clips of everything that happened. And it was just so much fun. The students were so cute. Like some of them, it was their first time coming to the US and they just were so confused about everything. So I'm just happy that in my job, I get to help them when they first get here. And yeah, there is actually, I'll tell you a quick story that was so cute. So we were doing the check-in, the check-in support. So every student has to check in online and they have to submit their documents. And when you come to the US, you have a visa 
And so we told him, you have to upload the visa. And he took out his credit card because it said visa on it. <laughs> and he was going to upload a picture of his credit card when he needed the visa in his passport. But I just thought it was so cute. So these students, they're a little bit clueless, but that's why we're here to help them when they get here. Love that you're so down to earth. Thank you, Paul. Did you steal that cat? What cat? There's no cat here. <laughs> I don't know what you what you're talking about. Are you religious? No, I am not. Uh, oh my gosh, there's really a lot of comments here. I'm like scrolling back up because I missed a bunch. Okay, here we are. There are a bunch of Michael Kors bags on sale online. I think it's nice to you. I actually have um my first bag was a Michael Kors. I still have it and it's in good condition still. So I feel like every time I get a new bag, I like get a different brand, but I won't be getting a new one for a while because this one, this one was expensive. Where do you often go for your vacation or are you act outdoor activity people? Um, well, we're going hiking this weekend. So you guys are going to see that in a vlog. That's outdoor activity. If we're act outdoor activity people, you'll have to watch and find out. I, yeah, just, just watch the vlog coming up and you'll see. We're mostly doing this for Peanut, I think. We've been hiking before and I expected we were going to be there all day. And I think it was like two hours and then we went home. So we'll see how it goes this weekend. I'm hoping it doesn't rain because we have that planned, I think, on Sunday. So Probably doesn't rain. It was super hot and now today was cold. This weather is just like going crazy all the time. And I feel like I'm gonna get sick because it just keeps changing, but hopefully I don't. Bạn chị bây giờ là bơi thôi hả chị? What is Ben? Ben. 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 Huh? Ben. Ben. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, chị ăn thôi rồi. Ăn, chị ăn bơi, bơi thôi rồi. Yeah, oh, I thought she was asking if we ate dinner. <sighs> okay, let me try and answer in Vietnamese. Ở đây, ở Mỹ là thăm giờ dưỡi. How do I say PM? Toy? Toy? Today. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad because I'm not good at that kind of sentence. Sonny Bono died hitting a tree. Okay. I don't know who you are, but that is a strange thing to say. I'm Vietnamese. Hello, Andrew. Bonsoir. The Montreal. Wow. Hello. I want to go to Montreal again. I've been twice. I think he wants to go too. So maybe someday. I feel like that would be a fun thing to do, to go to Canada. Because it's not that far away. But it's it would be fun. Like in Quebec. Love your attitude. Hope when my daughter grows up, she has attitude like you. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. I'm just trying to stay positive in life, you know. So hopefully. How old is your daughter? Have you ever tried the fermented shrimp sauce that you can cook along with Bum Ba Hui? I'm pretty sure I smelled that and ran away. <laughs> That's Mum Tom, right? Mum Tom? I don't like Mum Tom. I like Nook Mum. <laughs> 7.30 a.m. Okay. Good morning, Chapo Sang. <laughs> what kind of job are you doing to travel? Um, my job is not traveling. It's just working with international students in the university. And then traveling is just on the side. <laughs> I mean, so hopefully someday I can get up into a high position and then they can send me on a trip somewhere. I know that my bosses go on trips. Like I think uh, my supervisor, Lauren, she said that she went to korea to help with a pre-departure training for students so that's pretty cool i would love to do that 3 31 p.m in russian time 
Wow, that's so crazy. You're so behind. Okay. Hi, Audrey. What do you do for a living and future plan for the channel? Any upcoming collaborations? Um, so for now, my full-time job is I'm an international student coordinator at a university. And then for my channel, I plan to keep doing like three uploads a week, whether it be video uploads or a live stream like this. I'm thinking of doing a stream maybe once every two weeks to start. And then if you guys love it, I could maybe do weekly, but I don't want to do weekly if you guys don't want to see like this content weekly. I know most of you subscribe for vlogs and not live streams. So I'm just testing the waters to see how that goes. And then for any upcoming collabs, I do want to collaborate with um, these friends I made who I have posted about them on my community tab before. Their names are Hui and Audrey, which is crazy because I never thought there would be another Hui and Audrey. So I'm going to actually put their channel name in the chat so you guys can go check them out. They're called Winning at Life, but it's like Nguyen. So yeah, you should go check them out. I would love to, we're, we're actually working on a collaboration. So hopefully we will have it in September because I want like, I don't know. I just haven't really collaborated with anybody. So I feel like that would be fun. What did your parents say when you presented Hui to them? Were they surprised? Did they know the Vietnam War? Okay, well, they said, hi, nice to meet you. You're so nice. <laughs> they liked him. They said, wow, cool. And um, they weren't surprised because I guess like being like multicultural couples is a normal thing in the United States. So I feel like no one's really surprised by that. And then, of course, they know the Vietnam War because it's America. <laughs> so who does not know that? Um, did you watch The Office CPR? What is CPR? I watched The Office, the TV show. Lammy says, I love your channel because you are always positive and every time you have a live stream on YouTube, you never ignore any comment, but some of other YouTubers, they just ignore. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think people try to ignore. I think it just gets to a point where there's too many comments. So they probably just had too many comments. I, I have a lot of comments here. I want to take the time. Like I said, even on my videos, I always respond to you guys because you, I, I mean, it's, it sounds kind of serious to say you sacrifice your time, but you do. You spend your time, you choose, your, you choose to spend your time to watch my videos or to tune into the live stream. So I feel like the least I can do is respond to your comment, especially if you left a comment. Some people, they just watch and then they move on, which is fine because I do that too sometimes. I. I'm always on YouTube, <laughs> so I don't always comment, but I try my best to reply to everybody. I'm actually behind on comments right now because I was so busy this week, but I will be catching up. So if you commented like three days ago, you will get a reply. I promise. Oh no, there's something Russian here. I can't read it. Hopefully it says hello or something. It's a smiley, so hi. <laughs> Hello from the horseshoe in Arizona, LOL. The horseshoe? What does that mean? Like the Grand Canyon? Hello from Vietnam. Hi. Um, there's some more Russian. It looks like Spasiba, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't speak Russian. Hello, my idol. Wow, thank you. Hi. Uh, hi from Indonesia. I like your eyes when blinking to control every word spoken. When blinking. Okay. I'm going to blink some more. Hi. Um, uh, me taught hơn công việc thức phạm. He hope. What is thức phạm? Food. Okay. I mean, I think thức phạm of Vietnam ngon hơn. Yeah, it is safer. Yeah, here. But I miss I miss Vietnamese food so much. Somebody posted a picture of pho with the kwai, and I was like, oh my god, I want that right now. Am I too late? You are never too late. Welcome to the stream. 
There's a lot of Russian comments, but I can't read it. Oh, I guess you guys are just talking to each other. So that's good. Okay. <laughs> There's like two people speaking Russian over here. I got here too late. No, you didn't. You're right on time. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? How are you? How was your week? If you guys have any fun stories from your week, feel free to share them. I'd love to read them. Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh, here I am. No, that's not even it. I got lost. I have to go way back. There's actually a lot of comments here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I found where I was. <laughs> hey, Audrey, I love your vlog. I must tell you that Hui is the lucky one to have you as his wife. Thank you. I mean, I feel like we're both lucky. And Lammy says, OMG, I love ping pong tennis badminton because it's fun and easy. But my gym mostly play basketball, volleyball, and soccer ball. Yeah, I don't like those. I, I, I like field hockey, though. Do they have field hockey at your school? Because that was my favorite. Like in middle school, I love to do field hockey or floor hockey. Do you plan to visit Chicago? I mean, we haven't planned a trip yet, but that would be pretty cool. You have to tell me what, what we should do if we go there. <laughs> How many students do you see daily? Um, I mean, the school year is just starting now, so I don't really have a number just yet. I'll let you know later when, when the students actually start coming to see me. But probably, I feel like our office gets like maybe 50 walk-ins every day. So I wouldn't see all 50 because we would split it up with other people. But we do get quite a few students coming in. And that was in the summer. So probably when school starts, it's going to be very busy. Does Peanut shed? Are you a good dog mom that will take him to go to the groomers? He sheds so much. <laughs> so, so much. We brush him. I brush him once a week on the weekends and then maybe sometime a little extra. I think I brushed him twice this week. I'm constantly vacuuming. There's hair everywhere. We have to buy lint rollers because our clothes get hair on them. And we are actually taking him for a bath this weekend. So we don't really take him to the groomers. We do most of the stuff ourselves. Like we brush him and we put lotion on his paw because it gets like dry skin. So we try to help him be like more comfortable. And we cut his nails at home. We have our own clippers. So when we take him to the like the groomers, we actually wash him there. So we, we did a video about it. If you want to see it, it's just like giving our Shiba Inu a bath. If you want to see that video, he doesn't like baths, but hopefully he'll get used to it. He only has to go once a month. So we take good care of him, I think. But yes, a lot of a lot of hair everywhere, everywhere. Okay, there's a bunch of the Russian conversation, so I'm going to skip that because I don't know what it says. That's true. You look much younger than your age. That's going to come in handy. That's what everybody tells me. They say, wait till you're old. You're going to love it. I think she read comments in she she read comments in Facebook. Yes, I read a comments in Facebook. I know sometimes you send me a message in Facebook and I don't respond all the time because it's on like a separate profile so sometimes I don't log in there I don't log in every day and honestly I don't really use Facebook that much I mostly use Instagram so if you guys want to follow on Instagram I think that's more of a fun place to follow because I post stories on like the like the snapchat kind of feature of Instagram and I also try to post a photo daily with a caption that kind of describe something that is going on in my life so that you guys can kind of get like a little more insight other than just like what I show on the vlog so it's kind of been an experiment for me because I don't want to really keep a journal or a diary but I feel like that is just an easy place for me to write down some thoughts before I go to bed so if you want to follow my Instagram it is Audrey N-G-U-Y-E-N-Y-T. So it's in the chat. So you can look me up there and follow me there. I do like announcements on there, polls, all kinds of fun stuff and like behind the scenes. So go check it out. That's where I'm most active on my phone. <laughs> Instagram and then YouTube, of course. Uh, 
let's see can you do more snack taste test vlogs i really enjoy them and i think your viewers will as well i would love to do another one so maybe maybe in october once like everything settles down i'll try and do one but thanks for suggesting it i'm always looking for ideas so i'm gonna remember that i like your vlogs because they give me peace and make me relax i like your young and peaceful couple thank you I'm so glad. I know a lot of people say something similar. Like they they feel like they can relax when they watch it because it's just laid back. So I'm glad you enjoy it, even though sometimes my life feels like it's boring, but I'm just happy. I feel like a lot of you guys really like the what I always think is the boring vlog. You tend to really enjoy that. So that's fun. Why so many Russians here? I don't know. Why. They're all just talking. It's kind of strange. Do you plan to visit Chicago? Like I said, I'm not sure yet. Maybe someday. Mum Tom. Yeah, I don't like Mum Tom. How long has Hui been playing a music instrument and do you play? <laughs> well, he hasn't practiced his guitar in a long time. He is now reading, which I guess is another good hobby to have. Uh, and I don't play any instruments. I, yeah, I just never was able to do any of those. Hello from Little Saigon, California. Love your vlogs. Any plans on visiting Little Saigon, California? That is on my bucket list, of course. I don't know, like, if, I mean, not if, I should say when, because I'm definitely going to California. I have to. Within the next, like, two years, I hope we can make it out there because I really want to visit. And yeah, I've just been always on the East Coast. So that's a dream of mine. I heard there's tons of good food and I can't wait. And I know a lot of you guys are from California. So it would be really cool to meet some of you guys. How long do you study Vietnam or Vietnamese? Um, I think I started in like 2012 was when I really started to study it. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, like six years. That's actually a long time. I should be better at this. <laughs> if you ever plan a trip to Southern California, I would like to invite you both over for a traditional Vietnamese style dinner. Thank you, Dave. I feel like a lot of people are so nice in California. You guys are all offering to like show us around and show us the best food. So thank you so much. Jay says, what's up Witten family? What did I miss? Hey Jay. So I've just been answering questions. You didn't miss too much. And yeah, welcome. So glad to see you here. Hope you had a nice week. Hello. Oh no, I scrolled too far. I gotta go back now again. <laughs> so many comments, you guys, but it's so fun. I'm like way behind. I feel like you guys are like, come on, hurry up and get to my comment. Okay, there's Jay, okay. Uh, would you want to meet your fans? Yes, I would love to. I, I really would love to. I just feel like right now we're, I feel like nobody watches from this area, like New Jersey, New York area. It would be the easiest to have a meetup here, but I know most of you guys are in like California, Texas, Australia, Vietnam, maybe even India. I know some people from India are watching. So it's kind of hard to schedule a meetup, but maybe we could get like, a small New York group together eventually. Cute Tyler says, hi everyone. You will love it here. Yes, I know. I can't wait to come down there to Australia is what we're talking about. I know this comment, you probably put this here like 20 minutes ago. So sorry, I'm so late. Abdias Joseph says, what's up? Not much, what's up? I want some bang, bang, Kang and Chow Long so bad. Oh yeah, you probably don't have many Vietnamese restaurants where you where you live, huh? Chow M, Sin Chow. Oh my goodness, there's so many comments. Yes, they do have a field hockey. It's my favorite too. Yeah, that that was fun. Like I'm not good at sports, but that one I actually enjoy doing. I don't think I'm good at that either, but. <laughs> No, I think Viet DM. Uh, xin chào. <laughs> I don't like I don't like this kind of thing where it's just like speak. So ask ask questions and then I will try to answer them. 
bạn đang ở Việt Nam hả? À, không phải. Mình đang sống ở bang New Jersey ở Mỹ. Um, could you tell me what do you do for living in Vietnam? I don't live in Vietnam. I live in the United States and I work for a university with international students. So if you want to study in America, you can ask me a question and I will try to help you. And yeah. <laughs> It was great. I had some days off, no study. That is good. I'm glad you had a little rest. Where is your dog? Can I see it? He is laying on the floor and over there. Maybe I'll try and call him. Let's see if he comes. Peanut! Peanut! Come here! Come here, buddy! Oh, he came over here! Look at him! Oh, get away from my bag. <laughs> Peanut! The fans want to say hi! Oh! Why did you face away from them? You were facing the wrong way. They're over here. He's like, what the hell is he doing? Hi. Look at this cutie patootie. This is my baby. Mwah. Mwah. I love him so much. It's like every day I love him more. Huh, Peanut, are you spoiled? He's reading the comments. <laughs> What does this say? Can you read it? It says, what does it say? If it weren't a YouTube, what would you be? If you weren't a YouTube, what would you be? I mean, I don't know. I'm a international student coordinator. <laughs> uh, Audrey, like Russian name, Andrey. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people spell my name like that by accident. <laughs> I'm just come back to school this week. Feel so sleepy. I love your vlog a lot. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Hopefully you will enjoy school more once you get like into it. But yeah, I feel sleepy at work all the time. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many comments. So many comments. Do you know why people like to follow you? I think because you are kind of special. You are beautiful inside and outside. You seem to be so nice, so sincere, so surreal. You make us feel good. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm just kind of doing what I love. And so I'm, I just feel very fortunate that you guys enjoy it too. I'm actually going to sit up. <sighs> Peanut's gone to sleep now. He's like, get out of here. Leave me alone. <laughs> He's kicking me away. Look at him. Are you kicking me away? <laughs> He's like, I'm tired. I'm gonna take him for a walk after this. <coughs> okay. <coughs> My throat is so annoying. Where was I? Okay. What's your plan in the future? My plan for now, I guess my my short-term goal until the end of the year is to work very hard in my new job and learn as much as I can and try to become like the top employee, <laughs> which sounds kind of crazy, but I would like, so I, I'm starting as a coordinator, but the next position up is advisor. So I'm trying to see if I can like work really hard and then get promoted. <clears throat> I know there's an opening right now. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to squeeze into that one because they're probably gonna hire somebody before I can, get up to speed but I'm just gonna stay hopeful and hope that all my hard work will pay off and within maybe a year I can get up to the next ranking so that is like my future goal and then also to keep doing my videos here on YouTube and yeah those are my those are my two main what did what was the question my plans for the future yes those are my plans <sighs> Good morning from Vietnam. Good morning. Oh no, I just lost my place. I gotta scroll back again. Something says Bang Tan, Bang Tan here. So it says, can you speak Vietnamese? Có và mình muốn hỏi bạn là army không? Probably a lot of people don't know what army is, but 
if if this person is army, they will know. She can. Can you read Vietnamese novels? No. I would need a dictionary to read that, and probably I still couldn't read it. I tried to read some books, but I gave up after the first page. You can speak Vietnamese language? Yes, a little bit. Audrey, we talk about life and sleep because in Russia, it's very late. I thought they just said it was 3.30. I guess Russia's a really big place. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. So that's what you guys are talking about. We have, we have community members chit-chatting, that's nice. How many states have you been to? Okay, so I have been to obviously Maine because that's where I'm from and New Hampshire. I have been to New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Washington DC, which is not really a state technically, but it's a place, Florida, Louisiana, I went to New Orleans. And then um, I think that's it. We drove, I, like I drove through the states, but I didn't like stop there, so. Oh, in Massachusetts, can't forget that one. Uh, yeah, Alaska, Hawaii. Um, what other state do I really want to see? I guess Texas would be fun too. Okay. Hey, do you have someone to watch Peanut Boy when you travel? No, I mean, we're not planning any trips anytime soon, so we haven't had to really worry about that. In in the winter, we're probably going to visit my family, and we're going to take him with us. So no one's going to have to watch him because he's going to come with us. But next year, if we travel, we're going to have to figure something out. So we will see when that comes. But for now, he's stuck with us. Big friend from Canada. Hello. I'm so glad you're here. I love your country. Maybe I'll move there. <laughs> Hello, Jade. Hi. Whoa, so good. Uh, Callie, còn nhiều người Việt nhất trong khác tiêu bằng. Mm, okay, so there's a lot of Vietnamese people in California. We got little Saigon. We we had 1,500 international students come, and I think we only have like five Vietnamese students in our school. This like in the new students, so there's not really many around here. I am studying for my SAT subject test level two. Good luck. I am not good at those tests, so I don't have any advice for you. Just keep studying. You can do it. I am from Chicago. I am from Dallas. Do you want to visit Texas sometime? Yeah, that would be cool. I want to eat some barbecue. Cheat lam lao viên tiếng Anh à. Chị không phải là giáo viên. Hello from Adeline. Sorry I'm late. Hope I didn't miss much. Hope you had a great week at work. Hello and thank you so much. I did have a good week. I'm so glad you could make it again. I Yeah, that's great. How was your week? How was your weekend? Is it weekend there yet? It should be. So I hope you have a good weekend. You are YouTube. What? Okay. <laughs> I love reading the broken English on here. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I kind of have to guess what's going on. Hey, Audrey, just want to say congratulations on the job and new car. So successful in FYIB. But yes, thank you so much. It's been a crazy few months for us, as you have seen. A lot of changes, but like good stuff coming. So I'm happy. What's up, Lizzie? Is this, did you see my video? I have a video about that. <laughs> I saw he, yeah, he's over there. He's reading something about Einstein. Yeah, it's not my kind of book. How has Peanut been coping at home alone? He's been good. He just chews stuff sometimes, but for the most part, he's sleeping. So I think I showed you guys, yeah, I showed you in the videos. We have the camera so we can check on him anytime. So sometimes I'll be at work and I'll just talk to him through my phone. I'll say, Peanut! And then he wakes up and looks. He's so cute. Hey, Audrey, do you like Russia? Repeat this. I can't even read that. 
I suppose it's okay. I've never been there. Lots of people on here. Yeah, there is a lot of people. Xin chào, xin chào. Bye and happy Labor Day. What are you going to do on that holiday? We're going to give Pina a bath. <laughs> That's it. Maybe cook some food. Okay. There's a lot of Russian in here still. Hi. What yours and Hui's favorite food to eat ever? Ever in her whole life? I mean, that's a hard question. Because I like a lot of food. I do like, I, I have to categorize it by like cuisine. So for Vietnamese food, I like pho. For American food, I feel like, I mean, this isn't even American, it's Italian. I like spaghetti carbonara, which we actually make it not traditional way, but whatever. Yeah. Hui, what is your favorite food? Do you have a favorite food? Is it pho? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Never mind. I, I'm pretty sure I asked you that before and it took you like 20 minutes to answer. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Uh, good morning, Vietnam. Yeah, good morning and good night. We have people on all sides of the globe right now with good morning, good night, good afternoon. Is your hometown in the country? How is life there? Tell us about it. Yes. I grew up in a very rural place in Maine, and it's quiet. There's not a lot of things to do, but there's a lot of nature. So I I liked growing up there just because I am crazy about nature. Even now, I still love it. When I see a squirrel, I saw a squirrel today. He was so cute. He was eating something. And yeah, I like squirrels. <laughs> Are you part Vietnamese? No, I am not. I am American only. Can you describe, detail your job? Okay, I'll try. But I don't know how much I'm going to talk about because I feel like it's going to get boring. So I am the International Student Coordinator. And basically, I'm there to explain immigration regulations to students and make sure that they are maintaining their legal status in the United States. This includes meeting with them one-on-one -on -one when they walk in to our office and signing forms for them, doing their check-ins, running workshops that are educational for them, and doing like um, the orientation we just did, which is welcoming students and putting on social events for them and just helping them transition to their life in the US. So it's a pretty fun job. I don't know how much of it you can understand because it's kind of sounds weird if you don't know the field, but basically it's a lot of immigration stuff, but I love that stuff, so it's great. Hello from Ling, hi Ling. In Brazil, hi. Hello from Turkey. Hello, how do, I, how do you say hello in, in Turkish? I forgot. I used to know. I know Nasasan is how are you. So Nasasan. Wait, no, I can't remember. I can't remember how to say hello in Turkish. I'm so sorry. Cheat. Oh, you cheat some a do. Cheat dang some a bang New Jersey a me. Gun thankful New York. You are people friendly, especially with people from different cultures. You went to Vietnam and mixed in well with your husband's family and with Vietnamese culture. I feel like that is true, especially since I've been interested in meeting and interacting with people from different cultures since I was pretty much, pretty much forever. I remember when I was nine, I went to Florida and I thought it was so cool to meet. I met this like girl, she was from the UK like from England, and I I wrote it in my diary about how cool it was to meet someone from a different country. So I feel like even back then, I was so into it. And then in high school, I went on um, interpals.net. It's like a pen pal website, and I started meeting people there. And then from there, I just always have made friends with international students. 
Which, by the way, spoiler alert, but Manasa is back in the United States, so hopefully you'll see her on the vlog sometime soon. Tilly is still in Cambodia. I don't know if she'll be able to come back or like when, but Manasa is back because she is still in her PhD program, but that just reminded me of her. I talked to her yesterday on the phone and I was so excited. Yo from France. Yo, bonjour. <laughs> and hola to, oh, I can't say your name, Jos Josue Alvarez. Hola. Bye, Ling. Peter Lay says, hello, Kozo. Kozo. Now I lost the comment. Oh no, I really lost it. Sorry, you guys. Let me try and find this. I have just, okay, here we go. Hello, Kozo Vietnam. <laughs> hello. Bye from Turkey, bye. Can you say joy oi? Oh my god, please. Yes, joy oi, joy dot oi. Hi to Viet. Yes, it's Saturday afternoon. How do you say this? Adelaine? No, Adelaide. Laid? Adelaide? I hope I'm saying it right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Can you tell us a bit more about your job? Are there students from Vietnam? Yeah, there's not many students from Vietnam. I was actually approving check-ins today and I looked at like 200 students and I only saw two Vietnamese students in the whole 200 that I looked at. So I don't think there's very many, but if there are, I would definitely be saying hello to them. I met one girl, she was an orientation volunteer. Her name is Mai and she's from Vung Tau. So that was cool to see her. I feel like she was kind of happy that I actually know her country because most of the students are from China and India in our school. So I feel like she's kind of the minority. I am a teacher. Oh, how is your Nana doing? She's doing so good. I just talked to her the other day. She's so cute. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, but she's doing really well. Hi, I want to learn English. Yeah, you can do it. Colen. Mi semana estuvo muy bien. Well, that is just muy, muy bien. <laughs> I'm glad your week was great. See, I can read that, but I cannot say anything myself. Hello, hi. What is your job now? I am international student coordinator for a university. Can you say xin chào? Xin chào. Sabes Espanol. I don't know what Sabes means. When will you have a baby? To be determined someday in the future. We have a baby. His name is Peanut. He's my son. Good morning. Wow, look at all these stars. So nice. Wish you and your family the best. Thank you, Stephen. I hope that you... Have a nice weekend. What time do you usually go to bed? Like around 10.30 or 11. I try to go to bed because usually I have to wake up pretty early to go to work. So I get tired. I like to sleep early. Good night, Audrey. Happy Labor Day weekend. Hope to see your new vlogs. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Thank you for joining. Probably you're already gone by now because I'm so late on the comments. <laughs> Your video about pet in Vietnam is interesting. Still remember the part, burn, baby, burn, I want to eat. <laughs> I See, this is the part of making vlogs that I like. I'll be editing, and so there's a lot of parts where I'm just talking to you guys, but I love the parts where I'm filming something else because I personally just talk. Like, I'm very talkative to nobody, so I'll just say random weird stuff like that and... I, I laugh a lot when I'm editing because I'm just like, oh my god, I can't believe I said that. So I'm glad you enjoyed that. That's just me being crazy. Ask we bullet Valentia Shevchenko or Nico Montano. What the heck is that? He said Shevchenko. Whatever that means. Who is that? Is the fight coming up? Okay, he's always into the fights. 
So there's your answer. He said Shevchenko. Audrey làm con dâu Việt Nam được mấy năm rồi? Does that mean how long have I been married to you? Fox? Oh, everybody's saying Fox because they saw they saw Peanut. That's so cute. You speak Spanish? No, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Just a little bit because I'm from America and a lot of people in this area speak Spanish. I really should learn Spanish. Hi from Malaysia. Hi. Donde es estude? Estude. I think that's like where do you live, but I don't know how to answer that. What do you like to watch and listen in your spare time? I watch a lot of YouTube. So I think I've mentioned this before. I watch KK and Baby J. They're a vlogging family. I watch Jamie and Nikki. That's another vlogging family. Then I just watch general videos about um, like social media and like, yeah, improving YouTube channel. TV shows, I watch The Bold Type, Younger, um, How to Get Away with Murder. I watched Scandal, but now it's over. So there's no more, no more seasons of Scandal anymore. But those are some of the things I like to watch. Listening to, I like Korean music. I enjoy more like Korean R&B and like rap and hip hop, but some pop songs are just too catchy. I can't not listen to them. I like BTS. That's my like favorite idol group. And then for other artists from Korea, I like um, J Park, Dean, Crush, IU, um, who else? Um, I can't even remember, Siko. Yeah, just some of them. San E. Yeah, I like a lot. Okay, let me see. Where was I? Your sweet fox. Hi, I'm from Poland. Wow, hi. Have never seen anybody from Poland watching. So hi, welcome. I use your video to entertain and learn. Your voice is sweet and easy to listen to. I'm glad that you can understand the way I talk. What happened to your other YouTube channel? Do you stop making the teaching video? I, yes. So I want to restart it, but I think I'm going to make the video speaking English because I was having a really hard time planning lessons in Vietnamese. So I'm going to revive it. I don't know when exactly. Hopefully in September, like maybe one weekend, I can film some videos and then start uploading there. But I'm so sorry that I kind of abandoned it. Like after two videos, I will be fixing that. But most of my energy goes to this channel just because it's where my passion lies. And the second channel is just me trying to help people that want to learn English. But for the most part, my main channel is where I put like my most effort. So sorry about that. But hopefully these videos on my main channel can help you too. What, your name? My name is Audrey. <laughs> Hello, Chi. Hi. Do you plan to visit Vietnam again? Yes, of course. We will always go back. But we don't know when yet. Oh, I'm going to sit like this. I'm going to get lazy. Lay down like this on my pillow. Okay, good night. I'm just kidding. Okay, um... Your voice is so clear. It's good for practicing English listening skills. I'm glad. I try, like, I don't know. I try to speak as clearly as possible, especially when I'm working with international students. I find that I'm able to talk to them better than some of my colleagues because I kind of make sure that I'm saying things clearly and also changing the words to a word that I know that they're going to know. I feel like a lot of my colleagues, sometimes they just say stuff the way they normally would, which which is fine, but I just, I don't know. There was this, there was a time when I was in an advice, like I was with one of the advisors and she was trying to explain something to the student for a while and the student just didn't understand. So then she asked me to try and explain it and I did. And then right after I said, 
I just like changed the way we were saying what we were saying, but it still meant the same thing. And then the student understood. So I feel like sometimes you just have to kind of tailor how you're talking so that your audience can understand you. So I am glad that I'm successfully doing that for you and you can understand my English. Anime, I don't watch anime. <laughs> they said, I like Hui a lot more now. Shevchenko all the way. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's not a question <laughs> beautiful good morning from vietnam good morning chào buổi sáng chị đang ở việt nam à không phải chị đang sống ở mỹ ở bang new jersey hi from brazil hi hello from texas hi Oh my god, I made it to the end of the comments. I'm finally caught up, you guys. So, what does sub say 21? I don't know what that means. Me name is Jose Alvarez. Nice to meet you. There's a delay on live. I don't know if it's a delay or if I'm just delayed. Hello from Puerto Liano. Is that in Italy? Or do I sound stupid? <laughs> Can you give me a shout out? Shout out to Dane. Hi Dane. Can you can you moderate with you? I don't know what that means. Hello from Boston. Does we get any soccer fever recently? What is soccer fever? Do you have a soccer fever? He said no. <laughs> mm. Hi, Audrey from Ling. Hi, Ling. Nice to see you. Whoa, chị nói tiếng Việt rồi quá. Thank you. Come on. Hola, hablo español. No hablo español. Lo siento. Hablo español. I cannot speak Spanish. I just spoke like two words. <laughs> now they think I speak Spanish. Okay, why do you learn Vietnamese? Oh no, how do you learn Vietnamese? I'm like falling asleep here. Well, Mary, it was not easy. In the beginning, I started learning like just the family, like all the names of the people in the family, which that in itself was extremely confusing. And I feel like that probably isn't the best place to start because I wanted to just give up right away. But I kept going. And then I learned like how to say hello, counting, introducing myself. And then I feel like I just kind of taught myself random vocabulary words, but I didn't really learn how to make sentences until I went and actually traveled to Vietnam. So I feel like the best way for me to learn Vietnamese is always to be with Hui's family because every time I spend time with them, I improve more and more. So Probably my Vietnamese is going to get worse again a little bit because I'm not going to use it for a while. I mean, I should probably practice every day. That sounds kind of bad. And then when I, we see them again, it will go back up even further and then it will go down and then up. So it's just like a slow and steady climb up the mountain. Hi to Cami Vargas. Hi. I'm in Newcastle. Okay. Do you hear these questions a lot? When are you getting married? When are you having kid? When are you having next kid? I mean, I'm already married, so that's not a question. But the kids, yes, we always get those questions. It's it's kind of annoying. I don't know what this, what is tip donate link? You speak Spanish very good. What the heck? I spent like, said like two words. Por qué no haces un tutorial de cómo hablar on a, on inglés? Um, sorry, I I'm not an English teacher. <laughs> Lo siento. Uh, yo no no wait, yo. How do I say I don't know? Yo no sé um, teaching English. 
<laughs> tutorial Pablo on English. Hello, no, yeah, I, I, you lost me. My Spanish is, is like fake. <laughs> I speak fake Spanish. So if you can understand it, then that's just crazy. If you feel froggy, then jump. If you feel needy, then take. That's all I gotta say. Wise words from Tay K. Froggy? Well, I've never felt froggy before, but I'll remember to jump if I do. Do you know about dog meat in Vietnam? How do you think about this? Yes, I do know about it. And yes, I have tried to eat dog meat before in China. When I was studying abroad, my friend's family cooked it. So I ate the food that her family prepared and I only ate it one time. It was not bad, but not like I want to eat it again, especially now that I have a dog. I, but I understand it's not the same like as a house dog, but still, yeah, I've had it before. You see, Vietnamese easy. Uh, it's okay. It's not that easy. What is your favorite food? Asked Dane. I like pho, and I like spaghetti, and I like fruit, and I like ice cream and chocolate and brownies. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I bet you. There'll be some people thinking, oh my god, she's so unhealthy, which I kind of am. Hi, Ming Yang from Hanoi, Vietnam. Hi. Hi from Poland. Wow, another person from Poland? Hi. This is so random. Jay says, hey, Audrey, do you study the Vietnam War? I mean, we really didn't study that in school very much. So, yeah, I feel like it might have just been... A one lesson kind of thing but I haven't learned about it. it that was a long time ago actually how many years ago was that I am 26 almost 26 so that was like 10 years ago it's been a while bueno gracias okay I think I think they're starting to understand that I don't speak Spanish now <laughs> hope you're enjoying your new job Thanks, Gwen. I really am. It's so much fun. So my next my next video will be all about how amazing my new job is. So you'll see some of the fun stuff I did this past busy week. Hi, I'm from Scotland. Hi. Wow, there's a lot of people from a lot of countries here. I'm surprised. I thought it would just be like Vietnam and America, but it's pretty cool. Hello, Audrey. How are you? Hi, Edward. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad you could join the stream. I know you really enjoy the videos, so welcome. And thank you for always watching and commenting and supporting. He said, Por que yo soy de Argentina? Por que? Why? I am Argentinian. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to be able to speak Spanish with you. I'm so sorry. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Like this dress I'm wearing is pink. And the bag I bought is pink. Pink is my favorite color. Yes, I love everything pink. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Who gets mad more often? Who makes up first? Um... I don't know. I think it's maybe it's even. We don't really fight that much. But I think it's even. Do you like onion? Polish people love onions. Yes, I love onions. Not raw, but cooked onions are the best. Especially in the oven when they get burnt a little bit. It's so yummy. Yo, Audrey, do you experience racism in New York Chinatown? Um, no, I don't personally. I think I might have mentioned this before in the last stream, but I have been fortunate enough to not get like any bad racist comments directed towards me 
So, yeah. I mean, it's America, but there is still a lot of problems. So you probably know about that. How are you? This is my first day on YouTube. I am good and welcome to the platform. Czech people like onions too. I think Americans like onions, maybe. I mean, I like onions. The crazy dogs next door barking again. Uh oh. Goodbye. Adios, amigo. Pink panther. Panther? <laughs> raw vegetables or cooked? I like cooked better than raw. I am seven years old. Wow. That is very young. I am Asian but not Chinese, but I experienced racism in Chinatown in some places. Dang. Actually, you know what? I feel like it's not racism, but maybe they... The, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I feel like a lot of the Chinese restaurants, they cater towards like the Chinese audience. So this really isn't racism. I don't even know why I'm connecting it to that. But they have like the, the like authentic menu and then the like white people menu. <laughs> so that's the only thing I've really seen. But I can speak Chinese. So sometimes I just talk to them. And then they're like, oh my god, how do you know Chinese? So that's kind of funny. Especially if they're talking. Because some, like, sometimes I can understand what they're saying. So if they're talking about me, I'll just be like, hey, <laughs> I know what you're saying. Sending peanut to Nguyen love and cuddles. He's sleeping right now on the bed. He's so cute. You work with Vietnamese students. Not really, not very many. What do you think if you can teach English online? I don't really have a passion for that, so I have not ever decided to do that. I'm going to show you guys Peanut again, and then I'm probably going to end the stream because it's getting late, and I've been here for a while. Games I play said, bet you won't read this. Well, you just lost your bet because I just read it. Now here's Peanut. He looks so cute. <laughs> he's just look at him. He's laying there. <laughs> you can kind of see who he's in his hammock over there. Peanutty buddy. Oh my god. See, this is where he sleeps a lot on our bed. Oh my god, I love him. Jennifer says, Wow, what a surprise you understand Chinese. Well, I studied Chinese for two years. Actually, I've been practicing Chinese at work because my my office mate is from Taiwan. So we speak Chinese sometimes in the office. And today there was a student and he was sitting right outside our door. He was from China and he was complaining and we could hear everything he was saying. He was speaking Chinese, but I don't think he realized that like half of our office can understand Chinese. So he was just saying, like, oh, my God, it's so loud in here. I thought this was an office because, like, there was all the orientation volunteers were kind of in the lounge all excited. And then he was just sitting there complaining for, like, 10 minutes. He just kept going on and on. And Jacqueline was so surprised <laughs> that Jacqueline's my colleague. Hola, hablos español. I thought you left. <laughs> Hola, como estas? Me llamo Audrey. Yo soy Americana. There's my Spanish. Send Peanut to old. Get a puppy, send Peanut home. Get out of here, Jay. This is our baby. Look how young he is. Well, he looks like an old person sleeping at 9.30 on a Friday night. But he is a young puppy at heart. He's my baby forever. Huh, Peanut? He just sighed. That means he's happy. He's happy. Not because you told him to go to an old home. Huh, Peanut? Are you offended? He's really sleepy. And he has to go for a walk. After I'm done talking to you guys, I have to take him for his walk. Okay, let's see here. 
Your dog is so cute. Yes, he is. He's the best one. Now we're getting a lot of random languages here in this chat, so I don't understand what you guys are talking about. There's some French there, but I don't know what Nez means. And I definitely can't read that, what I believe is Czech. That Spanish accent, though. I'm telling you, I never, never took a Spanish class, so don't hate me. <laughs> we in the back. Can you see his book? His physics book? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Ann. Those dogs are really going crazy. The dogs on the other side of the wall. There are two Shiba mixes. I think they're mixed with Chihuahua, so they look kind of weird. And they're always barking. Always. He never barks. He's so quiet. To answer your question, it was good. I don't remember what my question was. Good dog. Yes, he is a good dog. All right. Well, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this stream because I have been on here for like an hour and a half. And I'm getting tired because I worked a lot today. I actually worked late because I was just having so much fun processing paperwork. But really, I was. So now I'm going to go. Peanut's sleeping already. I'm going to wake him up and take him outside. But thank you guys so much for joining and hanging out with me this Friday night. Let me know if you guys want to have these more frequently. If you guys enjoy this time being the time we do a stream, then I'll try and keep this as like the time that we do it in the future. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great weekend. Hope your weekend, your whole week was good. And look out for the upcoming vlogs because there will always be more vlogs, I promise. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Now I need to find out how to turn this thing off. I'm still new to the stream thing, so bye. Thank you so much for chatting with us. You're welcome. Bye. Oh, wait. <laughs>